From the verge of extinction to a healthy thundering herd, Colorado conservationists really have done wonders restoring the bison population. But there is always a new threat on the horizon, and as our Ivan Rodriguez learned today, when tasked with rebuilding an entire population, it is best to think ahead. At its peak centuries ago, more than 30 million bison roamed the Great Plains from Colorado to the Appalachian Mountains. There were times when the Great Plains were blanketed in bison. I mean, just herds that were so large that standing in one spot, you wouldn't necessarily be able to see the end of the herd. Dr. Jennifer Barfield has been fighting to maintain a healthy herd of bison for the last four years. All of them pure descendants of Yellowstone National Park bison. We started with 10 animals. We are today at 77 animals. Dr. Barfield says the threat of bison gradually shedding their genetic DNA can be stopped through several different ways so they'll be able to withstand disease and climate changes. One of the ways to combat uh, a loss of genetic variation may be to move animals between herds, but Another way would be to allow those herds to grow larger and maybe even connect with other herds across the landscape. In the past, they've also used embryos as a way to carry on a pure bison bloodline. So this is an ultrasound of our first baby from an embryo transfer. So you can see the head here. You can see a little bit of the spine there. There are a lot of different ways to um, increase genetic variability. The National Park Service says based on a genetic population analysis, three small federal herds could die off and their DNA lineage vanish, all within 200 years if bison are limited to interbreeding with distant herds. Still, Dr. Barfield says she's not worried. I think we have a lot of people who are very motivated, who are uh, making great strides in starting new herds um, and looking at places where herds can grow and expand. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.